Welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. Today I'm showing you a quick and easy guacamole recipe. Just uses four ingredients, avocados, limes, jalapenos, and garlic. Let's start with the garlic. I have one clove of garlic. It's already peeled, which I'm just going to smash it and then just mince it. In fact, it's kind of cheating, but it's really good. I'm going to do what I normally do, which is use frozen garlic. Let me get that out of the freezer. It comes in these little cubes. Each cube is equivalent to a clove of garlic. So it's very easy to pop in four cloves of garlic into my bowl. I'm going to put these back in the freezer. They thaw quickly and they'll continue to thaw in my bowl while I prepare my avocado. So for each clove of garlic, I used four, we're going to use a small light bulb size ripe avocado. Now how do you know they're ripe? One way is color. A non-ripe avocado like this one is much greener. They tend to darken, most varieties tend to darken when they ripen. A firm avocado that doesn't give at all to the pressure of my thumb is also not ripe. A ripe avocado you can press on and it's pretty soft, not mushy, that would be overripe and no good, but soft, kind of like a peach, a nice fresh ripe peach. The next thing you'll do is take out the little stem if there is one, and then we'll cut the avocado in half. So you just press firmly, it'll hit the pit, and then you just rotate the avocado around the pit. And then there you go. Now my friend Stacy showed me this next part. Instead of mashing the avocado in the bowl, I score it while it's still in its peel right in my hand. And then I'll take a spoon and scoop it into the bowl. And there you have most of the work already done for you. So next we have to take the pit out of this avocado. And most people do it with a knife. This is dangerous, but it's effective. Give it a little twist and it comes right out. Now the safe way is just to use a spoon to scoop out the pit. Same thing, we'll score it and put it in our bowl. I finished cutting up my avocados and I have the four of them in the bowl. And the next thing you wanna do are your limes. And the reason for that is the avocados will turn brown when they oxidize. And the lime juice is going to keep them from oxidizing or turning brown. The acid in the lime juice does that. Now some people talk about putting the um, pit of the avocado in their guacamole. I don't know. I don't think it really does much. If you put enough lime juice in your guacamole, you won't worry about oxidation. So I'm going to use a half a lime per avocado. Four avocados, two limes. Now I'll just stir this so that the lime juice covers all the avocado. We don't want it turning brown. It's not pretty that way. There we go. Quick stir is plenty. Next, we're going to use two jalapenos. I use a half a jalapeno pepper per avocado. And a lot of people think fresh jalapenos are spicy, but I'll show you a way you can make them as mild or spicy as you like. Make sure you use fresh. The canned are not a substitute. This is what makes my guacamole taste so good. And even people who don't like spicy food like this. So trust me. So just cut the end of the jalapenos off. Now the part that has the spice are, let me show a better one, this vein and the seeds. So if you take the vein and the seeds out, it'll be a fairly mild flavor. And the way I do that is I just run my knife along that vein. I like it spicy. So I leave a little of the seed and vein in. Next, we need to dice our jalapenos. The way I do that, real quick, is cut them in little strips. So when you're working with jalapenos or any hot pepper, be extra careful once you have the juice on your fingers not to put your fingers near your eyes 
or uh, my brother was making guacamole a long time ago and um, he had the pepper juice on his fingers and uh, had to go to the restroom and that was not a pleasant experience to say the least. Okay, so I got them and I usually do a little more chopping. So I really mince them finely. And it's personal preference. I like them very small. If you like them a little big, bigger, that's fine too. And we'll add these to our guacamole. There we go. I'll cut the second pepper and then we'll stir this all around. So when you mix it here, those cubes of garlic will be on the bottom. Or if you have used real garlic, it's on the bottom. So make sure you lift those up and get them all stirred in. And this will further make it creamy too, or make it further creamy? Whatever, you know what I mean. I want to eat the guacamole right now, but it tastes best if you let it sit for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. So while that sits, I'm going to make some baked tortilla chips. The ones in the bag, the fried tortilla chips, taste great, but they're pretty heavy in fat. And if salt's a concern, they can be super high in sodium. So I'm going to show you a quick way to make baked chips. They're much lower in fat and calories, and they still taste really great. All you need to do is take a corn tortilla, any brand, and cut it into little wedges. It doesn't really matter how many. I kind of like eight, seems to work. And that's it. We'll put these on a cookie sheet and bake them at 350 for 10 minutes. A variation is to put a little bit of lime juice on it. Ooh. So a little lime juice, just a sprinkle here and there and just a pinch of salt, barely any salt. So let's get these on a cookie sheet and see what they look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, here we have our chips. They look great. They're still a little warm, but that's okay. So let's see how they taste. Mmm, so good. Lots of garlic flavor. If you don't like garlic as much, use a little less. Tons of brightness from the lime. And the little pieces of jalapeno give a little crunch that goes good with the crunchy tortillas. So use your own creativity to add stuff to it, whether it's uh, cilantro or onions or salsa or tomatoes, anything. I promise your friends and family will love this recipe. See our website for all the details and thanks for joining us. See you next time.